What's up, Paper Cup? It's Nate. I'm back from Singapore, and as you can see, medyo magulo pa yung kwarto ko. I still have my maleta and stuff lying around. But before I finish unpacking, I want to talk to you about something that has been requested for over a year na siguro. Film photography. I have had so many questions on Twitter and on YouTube saying, Kuya Nate, how can I start shooting film photography? Where do you buy your film cameras? And can papa develop? Today, I'm gonna answer all of those questions. Here we go. Malamang, the first thing you'll need to start film photography is a film camera. This right here is called the Canon Canonet QL17. It was built in 1969. It has a nice story behind it, but I won't get into that right now. There are three main types of film cameras. The rangefinder, which is my favorite. The point and shoot, which is very easy to use. And the SLR, which is a little bigger and is kind of what you see like professional photographers using. Kay Ryan to yun, nabenta ko na yung akin. And the second thing that you're gonna need is film. Right here, I have what's called Fuji Color 400. This is Variochrome by another company called Roly or Role. Sa loob nito, you are going to find your little film uh, container and then your film cassette inside it. Mainly, there is color film, there is black and white film, and there is what's called slide film. Color film is straightforward, black and white film is like color film except black and white lang siya. And slide film is film na... Okay, so when your negatives come out, no? Wala kang makikitang pictures. It's like uh, when you put it to the light. Yon, you see it? That's why it's called a film negative because you see the negative of the actual color. But with slide film, you see the actual image with the right colors straight from the film strip. Take note that the cheapest film to have developed is color film. So you might want to start with that. But Kuya Nate, what film should I get? Honestly, any cheap color film that you find. One thing you should note is that films have an ISO rating. You can see it right here. It says 400 ISO 400. ISO basically means how sensitive your film is to light. So if it's ISO 800, it's very sensitive to light. If it's ISO 100, it's not super sensitive to light. That basically means that if you have a higher ISO film, it's easier to shoot kahit madilim na. So if you mainly shoot indoors, if you shoot at night, you might want to get ISO 400 or above. Ako, I like to go on filmfolk.com or Satchmi store to find film. If you find expired film, it's okay. It will work. Kung expired siya over 10 years, the colors and how the pictures turn out might look different. But honestly, if you're going for a hipster look, you might actually like it. As for cameras, I look for my cameras at Lomo Manila Marketplace on Facebook. Pero you can always ask your lolo, lola, tito, tito, tito. Kung meron silang film cameras at home that they haven't used for years, and they're probably gonna go, Whoa, you wanna shoot with that? Bakit naman? <laughs> Kids these days. Anyway. Don't be afraid of taking bad photos. If you want to just take memories, kung hindi magiging Instagramable yung mga photos mo, don't worry about it. I shoot trash. And literally, I like to shoot pictures of trash cans. Bakit? Because I have fun doing it. Shoot film the way you want to enjoy it. Ako personally, I shoot film because it gives a special look, but also because your photo is an actual physical, tangible thing. And it's not just a digital file. But if you shoot film for different reasons, then go by all means, shoot film. Okay, let's get technical just for a bit. Technically, photography is all about capturing light. That's why cameras are usually going to have a light meter built inside them, which helps determine how much light the camera should let in through the lens and onto the film. If there's too little light on a photo, that's called underexposed. And if there's too much light on a photo, it's called overexposed. That is determined by the ISO of your film, like we talked about a while ago. Higher number means more sensitive to light. The shutter speed of your camera, this is a 500 of a second shutter speed and this is one fourth of a second shutter speed a longer shutter speed means the camera is open for longer letting more light in a faster shutter speed is like so it only lets like that much light in gets there's also what's called the aperture promise last na to. so there's the iso which is the sensitivity of your film there's the shutter speed which is how fast the shutter opens and closes and lets in light and there's the aperture which is basically how big or small the opening inside your lens is that lets in the light. Okay, so naka-open ngayon yung film camera ko. 
you see that light can most definitely pass through as you can see. And sana makita nyo, I will now begin to close the aperture inside. That's the aperture. So of course, if the aperture is bigger, it's gonna let in more light. If it's smaller, it's gonna let in less light. So those are the three things, usually called the exposure triangle, that help determine how your photo is exposed. Of course, kung naka point and shoot ka lang naman, there are usually no options to adjust this. So you just shoot and your camera adjusts the three things in the exposure triangle automatically for you. Lucky you. Kung naka range finder or SLR ka, usually it's going to be a little more complicated. There are cameras that still expose automatically for you, but there are also cameras na kailangan mong gawin yourself. Which is a little more tedious, but you learn more. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Many films, even if you overexpose the photo, it looks good. Usually, underexposing them makes them look a little muddy, but overexposing is still fine. That's why the safe thing to do, kapag hindi mo alam, okay, what exposure am I supposed to use? What is the shutter speed or the aperture? Just go for the option that lets in more light rather than lets in less light. That's the safe side. Most probably, your photo will still be okay. Let's get this straight. Developing is different from scanning. Developing is running this film straight from the camera through chemicals so that it's not affected by light anymore and so that the actual image shows up on the film. Scanning the film is running this film through a scanner so that you can make a digital copy of your photo. Printing is a different thing altogether. Many photoshops are going to just print out of the digital file na scan nila dito. But if you are a super duper artsy professional who has a dark room at home, you can print straight from the film. I don't know how to do that, but it's really cool. There are two main companies that like to develop in Metro Manila. There's the old one and there's the new one. Fuji is the old one and Sunny16 is the new one. My friend runs a shop called Sunny16 Lab and I send my films to them. They develop and scan within a matter of a few days and they produce amazing results. Fuji is the old company and they do great work too. I started with them. I actually started even before Sunny16 was up. You can go to any Fuji Wonder Photoshop. I usually go to the one in Aura. Give your film to them in the store and then the store will send it to the lab and then the lab will send it back to the store after processing and then give it to you. The other thing you can do if you visit Mega Mall a lot is go to Basement 1 in Site A and there's a Fuji film store there and dun mismo meron silang lab for developing films and you can have a film developed there within like an hour or two hours. There's also a Satch Me in the same Mega Mall which works closely with Sunny 16 Lab and you can give your film there also if you want. Pero wala silang lab dun so you're gonna have to wait a few days. However, mas mura yung Satch Me and Sunny 16 Lab. So just, I don't know, pick accordingly. That's really all you need to know. Hopefully this video wasn't too long for you guys. If you guys want more advanced stuff, you can Google the exposure triangle. No, this is not Illumin. Is it? The exposure triangle is the thing that I mentioned a while ago with the ISO shutter speed and aperture. You can choose to learn more about that or you can learn about street photography, about portrait photography, about landscape photography. If you're really getting into it, you can get into medium format photography which uses a film that is bigger than your normal 35mm film. So if this is the normal film, the film for medium format is probably like this big. So of course that gives photos with a much higher resolution. But that's enough of me rambling, medyo madilim na, and tonight is a very special night because my friends are coming over. Here, let's say hi to them. Vlog. Hello to my vlog. What? What's up, vlog? You have a vlog? 